imagine hosting a party with balloons and food and nobody buys the cake? Welcome to the reality of the open house. In a world where we can buy anything online, why in God's name are we parading through people's living rooms? The open house dilemma unveiled. What I'm about to tell you may change your mind completely. With the advent of the internet and Zillow and everything else that's associated with it, 96% of all home buyers start their home buying process online. 1%, maybe 1% will actually go into an open house. 5% may drive through the neighborhood first. So why do realtors have open houses? Well, let's go through it. Let's say your realtor says, let's have an open house. And you say, wow, that's a great idea. Your realtor puts an open house sign, puts it in the MLS. You clean up your house and you take off. You leave. You don't want to be there during the open house. Who do you think is really coming into your open house on any given Sunday? Is it somebody who has been approved for a loan? Can they afford your home? Do they know how much your home is worth? For the most part, open houses do not, do not sell homes. Less than 1% of all open houses will result in having a buyer come in and make an offer without a realtor to an open house. That's just the facts. Most high end buyers are going to get their own buyer's agent and they're going to make an appointment. They're going to go through the house and they're going to look at it privately without other people being there, without the seller's realtor being there. They're going to want a private showing. And when a realtor brings somebody into a luxury home, let's say they are pre-approved any type of home. Realtors are going to have your buyer pre-approved. So who's coming into your open home? A lot of people go to open homes for sport, they go in for curiosity. They may be your neighbors. And like most nosy neighbors who want to see what's going on inside your house. Agents always have food. They have donuts. They have beverages. People are going to be walking through and traipsing through your house, eating and drinking and having a very good time, like a party, like I said in the beginning. Those are the people that typically go into your house and the people who are looking for a little bit of free food. Sorry to say it, it is not the real buyers going into the open houses. Now here in Charlotte, where I am, most of my people are coming from out of state. They're coming from Atlanta and Florida and New York and New Jersey and Connecticut and California. And they're not going to the open house. They're looking online. They're contacting me. I may FaceTime it, but they're definitely not going into an open house. And most of the homes being sold, especially in the Charlotte Metro area, are people relocating. So an open house does absolutely no good. Now, let me preface everything and say that in the last couple of years when there was no inventory and the housing market was banana cakes, sometimes the open house was the only way you could get into a house to take a look at it because there were no appointments available and you knew that the house was gonna go under contract multiple offers. I bid $100,000. I bid $200,000. That day. So in that case, open house was warranted. Now, what is a negative for the home seller? It is impossible for the real estate agent to monitor everybody going into your open house. They cannot follow everybody. There are a lot of thieves who are going into these open houses and when the realtor is distracted or if there's too many people, they're stealing your stuff. So if you're gonna have an open house, you've gotta hide all your stuff, take it with you. Medicines. Medicine. Cannot be out in the open, they've gotta be hidden. People are looking for medication, they're looking to rip off small things. Sometimes what they do is they're casing the joint. They're casing your beautiful home. They're gonna take a look and see what's the easiest way in, what's the easiest way out. 
Some... You don't want to have any personal papers around. You don't want people snooping around. People snoop. And during an open house, it is game on. Game on. They can pretty much do whatever they want. These are complete strangers and people who are not really interested in purchasing your home. We don't know who's coming in at any given moment. It's not a very safe environment for someone who's going to be there alone. Typically, it's one agent by themselves. And it's not necessarily a safe environment. Facts are less than 1% of homes are sold through an open house without a buyer's agent. Just the facts. So why do realtors have open houses? They have open houses because they're using your house as an office. Oh my goodness. People will come into the open house. They may at some point want to be a buyer and they are unrepresented. So the realtor, while they want to sell your house at the open house, that's the objective. The realtor is really there to meet other people. The realtor is using your home and the open house in order to get themselves more business. It's not really to sell your home. Now, realtors are going to hate me for saying that, but it's the truth. In reality, open houses benefit the realtor and not the seller of the home. So is it worth it? Just ask yourself this. Is the buyer of my home really going to come into my home during an open house? Or are they going to make an appointment and come in and see it on their own? Is it worth it? Do you want strangers traipsing through your house and eating and perhaps stealing your stuff? Do I really need to have an open house in order to sell it? In my opinion, I don't think it's necessary. The probability is probably larger of you having stuff stolen and taken out of your house than you getting an offer. I thank you so much for watching. I know people are going to be pissed. And until we see each other again next time.